Philadelphia uplink successful. Welcome back, Commander. Today's threat level is low. The state of the planet is deteriorating. Tiberium infestation has reached critical levels. Red zones have suffered the worst contamination and cannot support human life. Yellow zones are dangerously contaminated, but contain most of the world's population. Decades of war and civil unrest have left these regions in a state of social collapse. The Brotherhood of Nod operates virtually unchallenged in these zones. They take advantage of the chaos to recruit members and disguise their military infrastructure. Nod's leader is a charismatic figure we know only as Cain. Cain is determined to accelerate the spread of Tiberium, believing it is the catalyst for the next stage of human evolution. However, in recent years, the Brotherhood has been suspiciously quiet, with little terrorist activity. The remainder of the Earth's surface is unscarred by Tiberium outbreak. These blue zones are considered the last refuge and hope of the civilized world, and are under the protection of the Global Defense Initiative. You have been assigned command of the GDI forces stationed on the eastern seaboard of the United States. Good luck, Commander. Commander, General Jack Granger, good to have you on board. These, these are interesting times. I don't know if you know it, but InOps has downgraded Nod's threat level to low. With Kane apparently dead, Nod's been fractured by internal power struggles. Recruitment's down 25% and they've abandoned four bases in the last year. The prediction is another decade of peace. Me, I say it's the calm before the storm. 28 years of fighting out, there's one thing I can say with absolute certainty. As long as there's Tiberium on Earth, not as a serious threat. If our intel says otherwise, it's because Nod wants us to take them off our radar. So I want you to go to North Carolina. Zone security stop would look like a Protoss delivery truck yesterday, but it turned out to be a Nod vehicle. Before it could be searched, the driver blew it up himself along with it. I want you to take some troops down there, see what you can turn up. Hopefully I'm wrong and this is just a false alarm. But if I'm right, be prepared for the worst. This is Lieutenant Santa Telfair. She's from InOps. She'll give you all the details of the mission. Lieutenant? Thank you. Good afternoon, Commander. Glad to be of service. Here's what we know so far. After the delivery truck incident, we turned Sky Sentry onto the area. And bingo, we located a high output subterra energy grid in the middle of nowhere. Obviously, no, it's up to no good. Your ace in the hole is an old base we have there. Bring it back online and you can recon the entire area. My advice is to engage the enemy only if necessary. No telling what those maniacs are hiding down there. Good luck, Commander. I'm here if you need me. Commander, it is imperative that you destroy the Nod base. Eliminate these key Nod structures to rid this area of Nod presence. Ion Cannon Control Node active. Ion Cannon Controls online. Positioning over Eastern Seaboard. Fire when ready. Objective complete. Establishing video uplink. Excellent work, Commander. And he cried in a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth! And Lazarus did arise from the grave. I have always believed that faith was measured in deeds, not words. And while many of my children worshipped my name, their deeds betrayed them. In my absence they strayed from the path, but you, you, my son, your faith never waned. 
Not at Honduras or in Jericho. Not in the great Rio insurrection. You risked your life countless times to topple GDI, to perpetuate our cause, to honor my name. And now I call upon you again to bring glory to the Brotherhood. I have seen that GDI is vulnerable, bloated by arrogance and complacency. Now is the time to strike. While they congratulate themselves on Tiberium advancements, not made decades ago, we will expose their weaknesses for all the world to see. Nache will brief you on your mission. Like you, his faith is unquestioned. So you're the one everyone's been talking about. Legendary insurgent. I hope you're as good as they say you are, Commander. Because we're throwing you right in the frying pan. Check it out. This is Goddard Space Center, Greenbelt, Maryland. Ground control to GDI's ASAT system. All of their missile defenses. You're going to take a small squad over there and wipe out the whole installation. Take the system offline. Now make sure you knock out the communications first so they can't call for backup. Then go stealth and do that nasty thing you do. Wish I could tell you what Kane's got planned, but then I'd have to kill you. <laughs> Just kidding. But seriously, I envy you, brother. The world's about to change and you're going to be right there in the thick of it. It's an exciting time to be Nod. If you need me, Commander, I got your back. Reinforcements have arrived. It will be done. Objective complete. Establishing video uplink. You did it, Commander. Man, GDI's gonna brown their pants when they see what Kane's got planned. Commander, Nod's clearly planning something, and judging by the size of that force you exposed, it's a major offensive. Now, I've already called for a, an emergency D9 briefing, but the timing couldn't be worse. All the directors are up in the Philadelphia at that damn energy summit, and I'm God knows- I'm sorry to interrupt, General. I've just been informed. There's been an attack on Goddard Space Center in Maryland. We should be receiving visual data any second. Good Lord. You realize what they've done? Nods has just taken out the entire Northeastern ASAT defense system, all our anti-missile capability. The Philadelphia. Heaven help us. My instincts about you were correct. Your execution of that mission was exquisite. I have linked your battle interface with my command console. I want you to have the privilege of starting the Third Tiberium War. The war to end all wars. Go ahead, my son. Push the button. Inscribe your place in history with the blood of GDI. Our destiny within grasp. The 
Philadelphia was only the beginning. Our forces will spread like a great plague across the earth. Every blue zone will feel our wrath. But for you, for you, my son, I have reserved the most important mission of all, taking the northeastern blue zone. We have a secret attack force awaiting your command. You must show no mercy, for GDI deserves none. And in global news today, the annual GDI Energy Summit is still underway aboard the space station Philadelphia. Our own Cassandra Blair reports on the landmark goals set for this year's summit. When top administrators return to work here tomorrow, they're hoping for a new fiscal agenda. According to Director Kinsberg, one of the key talking points for this year's summit is shifting resource allocation from defense to ecology, where the eradication of Tiberium is now viewed as a more pressing concern than the containment of... Excuse the interruption, but we're getting breaking news on the Philadelphia. Apparently, just moments ago, there was an accident. That's obviously something that's gone terribly wrong. We're going to do our best to confirm what we're all seeing, but this time, we have no idea what possibly could have caused a tragedy this magnitude. We're going to go live now to Cassandra Blair back outside the Northeastern Admin Building. Cassandra. William, William, I don't know if you can hear me, but it's incredible. There's so much smoke, you can't see more than 10 meters, and there's debris falling all over the city. Ah! Unbelievable. The destruction of the Philadelphia was not an accident. It was a merciful bullet to the head of a malignant ideology. It was the death of fear and the birth of hope. Rejoice, children of Nod. The blood of your oppressors will flow, and 50 years of tyranny will finally end. Transformation is coming. A new day will dawn. The future is ours. Unbelievable. Hold on. We're getting breaking news now from our Northwestern affiliate. And they just came out of nowhere. No warning, nothing. Bombs started dropping. And from what we can tell, there is no sign of GDI retaliation at all. It's just a massacre. <laughs> to watch this a hundred times, probably will. But right now, time to take the war to GDI. Take it right into their big, fat, overstuffed living rooms. We got two targets. Andrews Air Force Base or the White House? Man, I'll give my left nut to see some real action. I'll take one of these targets out myself. Anyway, Andrews is Air Command in the region. You take it out first, you won't have to worry about death from above. The White House isn't really tactical. They don't run Central Command from there or anything. But it is an important monument, so if you sack it, you'll create a nice diversion for yourself. Your choice. You can't go wrong either way. Get some from me, Commander. Fire Norma! This fight's ready. Mission Fire accomplished. Fire Norma! I was saying how pleased I am with your progress. General Qatar tells me you two have never met. I'm sure you've heard of her deeds. Besides yourself, she is the greatest military asset we have. The Philadelphia strike was her idea. <laughs> My idea, I guess. But it was your vision that made it possible. And our commander who made it happen. Now, my son, you must help me unveil phase two of this campaign. I'm going abroad now to make final preparations, but General Qatar will personally oversee your upcoming missions. Afford her the same reverence you offer me. Kane is correct. We've made good progress. Better than I thought possible at this stage. But we have awoken a sleeping giant. GDI will retaliate with a force that will test our resolve. It's up to you, Commander. 
to show the world that Nod will not back down. Commander, all hell's broken loose. Nod's launched preemptive strikes in every major blue zone across the board. Most of our troops are pinned down, our ASAT defense system is still offline, and I have no goddamn idea who's running the show at GDI. But this is no time to stand on protocol. The entire northeastern seaboard's been overrun, and we're taking the worst of it right here in DC. General, they're starting evac procedures? You go ahead, sir. Sir, you can't wait here. That is an order, Sandra. Sir. Kiersey James and theater ops will bring you up to speed. It's all on you now, Commander. I need you to take back this city. Well, Commander, you've done good. DC is back in our control. We also have a new acting director, Redmond Boyle. He's the former GDI Treasury Commissioner. I know what you're thinking, but that's our succession protocol. Everybody above Boyle in the chain of command went down with the Philadelphia. Look, the good news is Boyle's a sharp man with control of the purse strings, and we're going to need every penny we have to win. Excuse me, General, but I thought you should know. Never mind. General Grange, the Redmond Boyle. This is an honor. Truly. You had no idea I was coming, I apologize, but I was touring the area and I wanted to stop by and offer my gratitude for what you're doing. Well, don't thank me, Director. Thank the Commander. Commander! Great to have you on our side. Your efforts on the battlefield have been an inspiration to us all, but I encourage us not to rest on our laurels. We cannot be content to simply take back what was ours in the first place. If not once a war, let's give them one. A war to end their reign of terror once and for all. But first things first. Finish what you started here in D.C., Commander. Take back the city. Show the world the tide is turning. Mission accomplished. Well, less than 24 hours ago, this entire northeastern blue zone was under siege from Nod. GDI forces were overwhelmed, their command center was about to fall, and the free world was literally hanging in the balance. But one brave battle commander led a string of victories in D.C. that seemed to inspire yet more GDI victories all across the globe. It's heartening to know that GDI has really come out swinging. Yes, very heartening. We're putting up one hell of a fight out there. But William, I disagree with your assessment that the outcome of this war is still in doubt. There is no doubt in my mind whatsoever that GDI will prevail. We will have the will, the resources, and most importantly, support of the people. The public wants payback, an eye for an eye. And that's exactly what we're going to give them. The question then seems to be, can you deliver on this promise? Several conflict analysts are citing your lack of wartime experience as a cause for concern. I believe in my generals and commanders. They are the best of the best. And I believe they deserve not only the trust of myself and my administration, but the trust of the people. Because that is who we are fighting for, who we are fighting to protect. Undermining that critical bond of trust between a people and their protectors is, I believe, a mistake. Commander, no matter what you've seen on the news, you mark my words, this war is far from over. We've still got a number of blue zones up for grabs that could go either way, but that's not what's bothering me. Come here. InOps has been interrogating some not POWs, and they've come across a couple spotting similar threats here. Have a look. This is only the beginning. Fire will fall from the skies. 
the these will waste your bodies and your souls will cry for forgiveness when Cain unleash his fury. It could be typical nod rhetoric, but it sounds to me like they're getting ready to use WMDs. That's why I'm sending you to North Africa. If Nod's got the goods, that's where you'll find them. Hopefully a preemptive strike will nip this nightmare in the bud. Oh, and Commander, let's keep this one off the radar. The public's already scared enough. Sanders busy putting all the pieces together. You can get all the pertinent details from Kersey. That'll be all. Commander, the situation in North Africa is still very fluid. Egypt is the primary target here. We just learned an irrigation plant just outside of Kasabad is a front for a Nod chemical weapons factory. Obviously, we need to shut this down. To the north is the port of Alexandria, where Nod is distributing their weapons to the rest of the world. Unfortunately, it gets worse. We believe that Nod is assembling nuclear weapons in an underground facility in northern Cairo, which may explain why the area is so heavily defended. Anyway, the first step in cleaning up this sector is to take out that chemical weapons factory in Kasabad. I'm not sure what happened. I lost contact with the zone troopers you were supposed to rendezvous with at the chemical weapons factory. They said they found something, but then I heard shots and the feed cut out. You need to get in there, Commander, see what happened, then take out that damn factory. Good, you're back, Commander. The facility you captured in Kasabat turned out to be a treasure trove of information. Unfortunately, the situation's worse than I feared. Nod is building a Tiberium weapon. Dr. Giroud down at GTEC is leading the analysis team. Doctor, what else can you tell us? Nod has found a way to weaponize liquid Tiberium. This much is certain. Our raw data is still preliminary, but we believe a liquid Tiberium explosion would have a yield roughly 10 times greater than a 200 megaton thermonuke. Now, with a proper catalyst, such a blast may also create a self-sustaining exothermic reaction. You're talking about a chain reaction? Precisely. Any proximate Tiberium deposit, liquid or crystal, would be instantly detonated. My God, in a yellow zone. That could be thousands and thousands of acres. Thank you, Doctor. Keep me informed. This changes everything. Commander, seizing that liquid Tiberium device before Nod deploys it, that has to become our number one priority. I want you to take out that port in Alexandria. We can't let them start exporting components out of Egypt. When you've put those problems to bed, then you can focus on Cairo. We now have evidence that Nod is weaponizing Tiberium, which makes this next target even more critical. The port of Alexandria is Nod's primary pipeline to the rest of the world. We need you to take out this facility and cut off that pipeline ASAP. The good news is, with our supply lines up and running, we're able to send you the most powerful vehicles we have, mammoth tanks. Dare I say, this mission might actually be fun. InOps just confirmed the nuke that destroyed the Philadelphia was launched from this area. With Nod on the run and nothing to lose, it's likely they'll launch their full nuclear arsenal. Obviously, we can't let that happen. Take out the silo and the facility that controls it, Commander. This one is payback for all those who died in the Philadelphia. Commander, it's as I feared. GDI has retaliated with their usual shock and awe. It seems a single GDI commander from the northeastern zone has rallied their forces much sooner than expected. Not only have they driven us from these blue zones, they are decimating our yellow zone strongholds all over the map. We should never have been so aggressive. But who dares tell Kane he's overreaching without fear of punishment? 
Forgive my insolence, Commander. You, you must understand, I only want what is best for the Brotherhood, the thought of losing this war. <sighs> no. We will not lose. If Cain wants aggression, we will obey. This worked in the Second Tiberium War. It should work here. You must channel the enemy forces like water in this region. Dam the attacking flow around their targets in Brazil. This yellow zone is our most pressing concern. We have a lab here drawing heavy GDI fire. Kane insists we hold this facility at any cost. I wish I could tell you more, Commander. But even I do not know what is going on inside of there. Word of warning, brother. Watch your backside. Killian didn't get to be number two by looking out for others. She's got her own agenda. Why do you think Kane didn't tell her about what's going on down in Brazil? I can trust you, right? So what I hear is Kane's building some sort of Tiberian weapon down there. That's why all the hush hush. We're gonna wipe out GDI in one big bang. Man, this Kane brilliant. First things first, GEI's thrown the old monkey wrench. They got troops closing in on the lab as we speak. You gotta hold the line and clear out any forces they have left in the area so we can transport the... ...stuff. As you can see, I'm on my way to Sao Paulo now, Commander. Front row tickets to the fireworks. Okay, last mission in Brazil, I swear. All the components for the T-bomb are done and ready for airlift. The only problem is, you guessed it, TDI. They've claimed the only nearby airport. We're gonna have to hijack some transportation, but that's a piece of cake. The real problem is GDI has some heavy firepower just next door. We can't risk them firing on Kane's T-bomb. Punch a hole in their defenses, just enough space to get the transports out of here. And hopefully us along with it. Good job, Commander. Not only did you accomplish your mission, you also exposed Kane's plan. Come here, have a look. He's building a liquid Tiberium bomb. See the core spreaders here? These keep the liquid tea from corrupting the casing. But it makes no sense. This was Kane's plan to win the war. Why didn't he share it with me? Well, that's not your concern, Commander. I will deal with it when the time is right. We have more pressing concerns in Australia. That's where I'm headed now. I could certainly use you there, but Kane has insisted that you stay here in Sarajevo. He should be arriving back at Temple Prime momentarily. I hope that I can trust you to keep my concerns between us. All right, then. Good luck, Commander. I think we're both going to need it. Leaked reports of Nod using WMDs has paralyzed an already reeling populace here in Vancouver. But we've just learned that a series of daring GDI raids in North Africa have eliminated the WMD threat. Driving Nod forces in the region underground. However, we now have word that Nod forces are starting to converge on Sarajevo. There is even some speculation that a new Nod temple may have been secretly constructed beneath the ruins of their old temple, destroyed back in the First Tiberium War. I'm sorry, but I do not have reliable intel on this new Nod temple in Sarajevo at this time. That's what you said about the Kasabad lab. But clearly, somebody in the military had that intel. Evidently. But one simple communications error is nothing to start a controversy over the situation has been rectified, I assure you. Uh, next. Does that mean you're now making all the strategic military decisions? Oh, no, that's what I call jumping to conclusions. Look, 
Will I be deciding how many tanks to deploy, what kind of missiles to fire, what color camouflage to wear? Of course not. But I will be involved in all of the important decisions from this point forward. Believe me, Nod will reap what it sow. Mr. Boyle is correct about one thing. Nod will reap what it has sown, the seeds of GDI's destruction. Righteousness has only one allegiance, and that is to the oppressed. Our sacred brotherhood, inheritors of this glorious Tiberium world. Look to the skies, my children. A new dawn is rising in the east. Ascension awaits the faithful. I took an action that I thought to be correct. I understand, General. But I cannot, I will not, be out of the loop again. Commander, just the man I wanted to see. I've been giving a great deal of thought to our strategy in Sarajevo, and I believe our next move must be emphatic. Nothing less than the annihilation of Nod's temple. That is out of the question. We've already wasted way too many assets trying to take down that goddamn temple. Uh, fair enough. But I refuse to believe we haven't learned tactical lessons from those losses. Our troops are spread thin. We cannot afford any more expensive lessons. But we can't afford General his hesitation. We all saw Kane's broadcast. Time is of the essence here. GDI needs a major victory. Something the media can get behind and run with. And I, for one, have every confidence that our commander can deliver it. I hope I've made myself clear. Yes, sir. This mission is ill-advised, to say the least. But if you're going to take it on, you'll need to establish a foothold in the region. Work from there. Here's who will walk you through the appropriate strategy. Good luck. During the Second Tiberium War, we set up a forward base in Croatia. It's fallen under heavy attack from Nod. But if you can secure it, we'll send a supply convoy to establish a strong foothold in the region. Once that's in place, we can cut off Nod's supply lines and then mount an attack on Kane's little hideout in Sarajevo. Good luck, Commander. You'll need it. I don't know how the hell they knew, Commander. But GDI just shot down the transport carrying Kane's device. And he wants it recovered pronto. The whole area is crawling with GDI, so you're gonna have to sneak through to the crash site. I'll contact you once you're there. Good luck, Commander. This was gonna be dicey. Construction is very close to being complete, with the exception of the missing components from Brazil. The detonator and the triggers are in place for a staged radiation implosion in the crystal lattices and the liquid Tiberium reservoirs. However, the blast yield still may not be big enough And to you will find another detonator. I will not lie to you, my son. GDI has gained the advantage. But as I have told Killian, victory for us will not come on the battlefield. GDI is reacting exactly as I expected, converging all their forces in Sarajevo. Your first job is to retrieve the vital weapons components lost in transit from Brazil. Then you must buy us enough time to complete construction of the weapon. This will allow us to enact phase two of my plan. If all goes well, there may soon be a place opening up in my inner circle. This is it, Commander. The moment we've been waiting for. A chance to end this war once and for all. New intel says Kane is holed up inside Temple Prime. But the place is like a fortress, and they have some kind of shield technology protecting it. Look, it's going to be tough. But if you can somehow disable those ion disruptors, we might just be able to put the final nail in Nod's coffin. Make us proud, Commander.
Commander, I need your help. I've requested reinforcements in Australia. Kane refused. I've seen the damage reports on Temple Prime. It's a lost cause, we both know that. This base, these forces, this is the heart of our entire operation. They can still be saved if we act. You can thank me for that one. <laughs> Didn't I tell you Killian couldn't be trusted? I can't believe she's questioning Kane. He obviously had damn good reason for holding those forces back. Whatever. It's good to be back in Sarajevo. But we got serious work to do. First up, you gotta escort those weapon components you recovered back to Temple Prime. Then give Kane some time to build that sucker. And hey, do me a favor. When this all works out, tell Kane who drew up the plan. Maybe he'll let me out of this tent. I can flank you on your next mission. Wouldn't that be sweet? <laughs> Thanks for the escort, Commander. I've got it from here. Objective complete. Establishing video uplink. You recovered the Tiberium device. Excellent. Now, you must defend the temple and drive off those GDI infidels while I assemble the device. Objective complete. Silos needed. Now what are they doing? Building bases? Unit lost. Who's in charge? In the name of Cain, reveal yourself! Brothers, you have been deceived. We have come to right an unholy injustice. Training. Cain does not uphold the Brotherhood as he would have you believe. Training. We serve the true cause of Nod. Surrender, Temple Prime, or die! Establishing video uplink. Commander, I don't know what the hell's going on, but it sure smells like Killian to me. Probably one of her little power plays. Well, guess what? She's in for a rude awakening. Because with my brains and your bombs, we're going to put her little plot six feet under. That goes. That goes. Destroy that and I will have your heart. When my own army conspires against me, it is time to leave behind the insufferable race of animals who call themselves man to escape this godforsaken rock. But now... Now is the time to celebrate. The bait is placed, the trap set. GDI will dig its own grave. As you can see, preparations are already underway for phase three. We are taking only the essential icons necessary to build a great temple in the great beyond. By this time next week, you and I and the rest of our inner circle will begin our ascension. But our work here on Earth is not complete. Take your troops down to Australia. Salvage what you can of Killian's forces. They will be needed in the final mission. Go now, my son, and remember, have faith. Deliverance is at hand. Well, Commander, I was wrong. You did a hell of a job capturing the temple, and your timing was impeccable. Nod was in the final stages of assembling a liquid Tiberium bomb, but we've managed to secure all the materials. We also have reports Kane and his inner circle have sealed themselves off in a sub-basement of the temple. Unfortunately, the place is impenetrable, so you'll have to sweat them out. Tell me, General, our ace at defenses, they're back online, are they not? You're not suggesting the ion cannon. No, General, I'm not suggesting it. I'm ordering it. You realize we're talking about a facility where liquid Tiberium was being manufactured. An ion cannon blast could be disastrous to the region. Sandra, I need Dr. Giraud in Brazil. Dr. Giraud is our leading Tiberian scientist. Hopefully he can talk you out of General, this. General, this is 
a nod control yellow zone. Whatever the repercussions of the ion strike may be, my concerns are not for the locals of this region. My concerns are for our public, the GDI populace who have been promised payback for the Philadelphia. For God's sakes, man, don't make this about your political credibility. Excuse me, General, but Dr. Giraud is missing, and it appears he's been captured by Nod. Well, that settles it. Commander, I want you to end this once and for all. Incoming transmission. GDI Central Command has ordered the use of the Ion Cannon on Temple Prime. Unit under attack. Select target. Ion Cannon activated. Objective complete. Kane and much of his inner circle are believed to have been killed. The explosion also detonated a liquid Tiberium deposit hidden beneath the temple itself, producing deadly fallout and radiation levels over most of Eastern Europe. It's still unclear at this time if this was an accident or a final desperate act of terrorism by Kane. So far, the only response from GDI has been this statement from Acting Director Boyle. All those innocent lives lost, it's just unthinkable. But if there's a silver lining to this terrible tragedy, it's the fact that Cain's reign of terror has finally ended. And for that, I think we should all be eternally grateful. We just got word. JPL Deep Space Net is picking up six unidentified objects heading towards Earth at near relativistic speeds. It looks like they're going to try and enter our orbit. Do we know where they're from? It's unclear. We started tracking them in the Kuiper Belt beyond Neptune. Thanks. What is this, Adler? The ion cannon's been engaged, sir. On whose authority? Director Boyle. Here it is, sir, on Sat 3. In 1937, Eastern Standard Time, 39 alien spacecraft crashed into red zones on every continent. While the source and purpose of these aircraft remains unknown, there's no mystery about their intentions. Commander, what I'm about to tell you is highly classified information. In 2028, GDI confiscated a very sophisticated data matrix from Nod. It's clearly not of this Earth. They call it the Tacitus. We've been decrypting it here at InOps. And all we know for certain is that the data contained a warning about a future alien invasion. The connection between the liquid Tiberium explosion and this invasion seems, well, beyond coincidence. Whatever the connection, it's not just blue zones bearing the brunt. Several prominent yellow zones are also under attack, and Nod's been unable to mount a defense. Which puts the burden squarely on GDI. I'm not going to mince words, Commander. The situation is extremely dire. But you're the best we've got. So I'm giving you the worst mission on the board. Germany. Kersey will show you what you're up against. I still can't believe this is actually happening. 
All right, Commander. I don't know how much you've heard about New Eden. It was the first blue zone to be reclaimed from a yellow zone. Since then, it has become a secret research hub for GDI, particularly in Munich, where our future tech lab was compiling a full analysis of the invaders' operations. Unfortunately, Munich is already under assault and the FT lab's been destroyed. Several engineers were able to escape and are in a convoy heading for Salzburg, just outside the zone border as we speak. Commander, that convoy must reach Salzburg safely. We're home free, sir. Objective Evacuating complete. GDI Council. Enemy unit. That was nice work, Commander. It's like these things aren't invincible after all. Of course, I'd feel a lot better about our victory if I had any idea what their agenda was beyond just wreaking havoc. But one benefit of that uncertainty is it seems to have driven Director Boyle into hiding. Our secured bunker in Reykjavik. And that's where you're supposed to be too, General. Not a chance in hell. We're going to use this time wisely, make some moves without being second-guessed. And you're the key here, Commander. I need you to turn the tide against these invaders, build up some momentum, just like you did against Nod. Anyone else I'd worry about putting too much on their shoulders, but you, you seem to want that responsibility. We don't have much time. The invaders have spread out from Munich into several other cities in the region. Kirsi will bring you up to speed. Children of Nod, I bring grave news. As many of you know, we were building a liquid Tiberium weapon at our Temple Prime in hopes of ending this awful war. Those hopes were killed, along with our leader Cain, when GDI destroyed our most holy site. We do not have all the details yet, but it appears the Ion Cannon Blast set off a liquid Tiberium explosion beneath the temple. The damage to our yellow zone is unspeakable. Our casualties in the millions. No one can replace Cain. But it is now my duty, my blood oath, to lead our brotherhood through this trying time. And I say there is no time for mourning. We must turn our grief into anger and leave the past behind us. We must put all talk of ascension aside. Our only goal should be to take back this planet, one continent at a time. Tiberium is our divine birthright. Those of you who embrace it will inherit the Earth. Those of you who defile it will feel our fury. Follow me, my children, and I will lead us to victory against GDI. I don't care what Killian says, Kane is not dead. He's too smart, he wouldn't let that happen. No way he'd bail on us like that, there's no way. You hear about Killian's new plan? She wants to steal GDI's nukes, level the playing field. She calls Kane too aggressive. What a joke. And look at this. Killian just put out her first high directive. She wants all military personnel in Australia. It's our last stand. Guess we've got no choice. An order's an order. But man, this sure takes the fun out of being not. Children of Nod. I'm here to inform you that the war with GDI has taken on an unexpected twist. Less than one hour ago, GDI ion cannons fired upon six unidentified craft in space. These craft were apparently unfazed by the attack. In fact, they dispersed into several dozen smaller craft, landing all over the globe. Already we have reports that these craft have spawned hostile forces of a non-terrestrial nature. These forces are overrunning blue zones and yellow zones, attacking GDI and Nod installations indiscriminately. 
Unfortunately, we have no intel yet on these new enemies. But one thing is certain. We need to turn our attention away from GDI and defend ourselves against these hostile invaders. I can't believe you did that. I cannot believe you are questioning my decision. She betrayed us. I knew she would. I betrayed no one. I saved the Brotherhood. The invaders are too many and too strong. GDI troops are falling fast as our own. We're all in this together, like it or not. I had no choice. I made a deal with a desperate GDI commander. We are going to help them defend their base in Sydney. How could she trust that weasel? If that base falls, GDI will pull out of the region, and we simply cannot defend this entire country with our current arsenal. It's in our best interest to- This is treason! Kane would never cut a deal with GDI. Kane is dead. And that's exactly what you wanted, isn't it? What I want is a fully functioning arsenal of nuclear ICBMs. And while Nod is helping defend the GDI base, we will steal their launch codes and delivery systems of the warheads we've already captured. Look, Commander. Forming an alliance with GDI is unorthodox, I know. But right now, the invaders pose a greater threat than GDI, and I believe those missiles are the only way to defend ourselves against their forces. Everything depends on you, Commander. Okay. So her plan's not totally stupid. Still, this is messed up. Helping GDI defend their lousy-ass city against the aliens? Upside down, man. Upside frickin' down. Okay. So I guess the plan is, help GDI fight the invaders, but don't forget to steal GDI's nuclear launch codes so we can blow GDI all to hell after we help them whack the aliens, who are supposed to be our allies. Makes sense? Of course not. Once again, the world is quick to bury me. How could my own brothers believe that what transpired at the Temple Prime did not unfold exactly as I planned? Of course, I could not have planned for an ambush by my own forces! Of all of Killian's offenses, and they are legion, her proclamation that the Visitors are a greater enemy than GDI is an affront to everything I have planned for the Brotherhood. For this sin, she must be punished. You will take a team of your best soldiers and storm our Australian base. Killian is dug in there. Capture her. Alive if possible, but spare no one in her charge. Didn't I tell you Kane was still kicking? Okay. First you're gonna have to storm the base. Then once you've secured it, you'll have to wipe out Killian's forces. She'll be forced to surrender. And then she'll have to answer to the man. Commander, Kane's ordering our soldiers to stand down against the invaders. It's insanity! They're getting slaughtered out there! I respect your loyalty, Kane, but for the sake of the Brotherhood, for the sake of all mankind, I am begging you to please abort this mission. Together, you and I, we can figure out a way to turn this around. Please, Commander, you're my only hope. Attack run confirmed. Stealth unit detected. Vertigo, flight check complete. Unit under attack. New construction options. Objective complete. Battlefield expanded. Killian's northern base has turned to your side. GDI reinforcements approaching from the north. Killian's captured! Let's go get GDI! Such a pity. 
But doubt is like a cancer and must be eradicated. <laughs> I gave you everything, Killian. An army to command, a place in my inner circle, a future beyond your wildest dreams. And all I asked for in return was your faith. My faith is strong. I believe in the Brotherhood, and I believe that you have forsaken your followers. Get me, Archie. Tell me again, Archie. Sir! Tell me about Sarajevo. Uh, well, it's all a little fuzzy. You said you witnessed Killian's troops ambush the commander. It was a renegade squad. There was a GDI mole in charge. You said she jeopardized not only myself, and my science ministers, but the very future of the Brotherhood. It's hearsay. You have no proof. Archie's faith has never been questioned. If he testifies against you, it's for all the proof I need. I, uh, I didn't say I actually saw Killian's forces in Sarajevo. You assured me she was plotting behind my back. You called her actions treacherous. And we both know the punishment for treason is death. Were they Killian's troops, Archie? The verdict is yours. Go ahead, Ajay. Condemn me. This is exactly what you wanted, isn't it? I don't know. I can't say for sure what Killian's been up to. It's so damn confusing. All right. I just want what's best for now. Do it. Congratulations, Ache. Your faith has been tested. And you've passed. As I predicted, Commander, a spot in my inner circle has recently opened up. Congratulations, you're my second in command. Leave us. For the record, I had no intention of winning the war against GDI, a fact Killian simply could not comprehend. The GDI has always viewed the Tacitus as a warning about the visitors. I saw it as an opportunity to invite a superior race to Earth, a race with great knowledge about Tiberium. Now, according to the Tacitus, a liquid Tiberium explosion would alert the visitors' scout ships, but all of my experiments with liquid tea failed to produce the necessary blast yield. That is why I started the war with GDI, to provoke their ion cannon retaliation. The only force my science ministers deemed a strong enough detonator for liquid tea. Of course, the other reason for fighting GDI was simply to thin their forces so the visitors can complete their mission. There are 19 of these towers being built on Earth. Each of them will soon be a gateway, an interstellar passage to worlds beyond. Unfortunately, the towers are coded. Now, the only way inside is with the code. I believe the code resides inside their relay nodes. You must capture one of these structures immediately. It is the key to unlocking our destiny. Excellent work, Commander. We are one step closer to ascension. Now. To operate one of these towers, we must gain access inside the way the visitors do. You must go to the assault staging ground, infiltrate their forces, and secure the key code. I'm counting on you, Commander. Do not let me down. Man, I keep seeing Killian's face. Those eyes are looking right through me. Sorry. Anyway, back to business. But I gotta be honest with you, Commander. We still don't have much intel on these invaders or visitors or whatever you want to call them. But I do know this. Those relay nodes are where all the reinforcements are coming from. Capturing one's gonna be a suicide mission. Check it out. The closest relay node is here in northern Italy. 
But the place is so well fortified, I don't think a ghost could get through those defenses. Your best bet's gonna be a two-stage attack on these alien locations. But I'm not gonna lie. This one's a real ball buster. The invaders appear less concerned with taking control of our cities than with constructing massive structures in the red zones. Any attempt to impede or even investigate this activity is met with shocking force. Here to shed some light on these enemy structures is Dr. Emil Ibrahim, research manager at GDI's Future Tech Lab. First of all, Dr. Ibrahim, congratulations on your escape from Munich. Thank you, William. It was most harrowing. I can only imagine. Now, what can you tell us about these strange red zone towers? As with everything involving invaders, Tiberium is key. They utilize these green crystals in ways we cannot even imagine. We know, for instance, that Tiberium fuels their craft, their weapons, and we know these towers are made of a Tiberium composite material. What we don't know is the purpose of these towers. We have only theories. Fascinating. Just what are those theories? Could be Tiberium refineries, missile silos, even planetary destruction system. We need to get closer. We don't have enough information. Not so easy, is it? <laughs> Not so easy. Thank you, Dr. Ibrahim. Whatever these structures are, I think it's safe to say they were not built for the benefit of mankind. Commander, it's hard to believe, but all the data seems to indicate that those attacks on our cities were just a diversion away from the invaders' real agenda, building those towers. We don't know what they are, but we know they've got to come down before they're finished, and that's where you come in. Lieutenant. The largest tower, the one closest to completion, is in Italy, where this whole Tiberian mess started over 50 years ago. It's going to be tough, Commander. But if you can take down this damn thing, the hope is the rest will fall like dominoes. Here's you can fill you in on our strategy. God, I hope for all our sakes this is the last mission. All right, here's what we know. The invaders' tower is located outside of what used to be Rome. As of this briefing, it's almost complete. What's worse is the invaders also appear to be building what seems to be a super weapon nearby. But you can't worry about that. Just focus on the tower. It's protected by some sort of phasing technology. Our best guess is that destroying all three phase generators will drop the protective field around the tower. After those generators are down, the tower should be vulnerable to an ion cannon strike. Best of luck, Commander. Base is under attack. Select target. Ion cannon activated. Objective complete. Firehawk docked and ready. Fire Mission Hawk accomplished. Intel has sent down the latest planetary impact studies, and these are the computer scans of the targets. As always, my son, a job well done. We have secured the key codes, now we must secure a tower. As you can see, GDI will not relent. They have already destroyed most of the towers under completion. You must ensure that at least one tower reaches completion or my entire plan is in jeopardy. Based on diagrams found in the Tacitus, we believe upon completion, the tower will become impervious to attack. There are only four towers still in play. This tower in the Mediterranean red zone appears nearest completion. Protect that tower at all costs, my son. The future of Nod depends upon it. GDI is vanquished and my tower is complete. This victory will herald the dawn of a glorious new era. I heard you were back, my son. Congratulations. The last tower has been activated. It now stands invulnerable to human attack. 
Inside that tower, the secrets to Tiberium await us. And with them, control of the universe. Come, join my inner circle as we prepare to open the gateway. Behold, our hero, the one whose loyalty and courage made our dreams of ascension a reality. Excellent work, Commander. Just as we hoped, your victory set an example for the rest of our forces. Now we've got strike teams all over the board taking down those damn towers. Actually, we just got word there's only one tower still left standing. Right here in the middle of the med, or what used to be the med. You get this, the only reason why that one tower is standing is because of Nod. They've got an unusually large force there, and for reasons we can't explain, they seem to be trying to protect the tower. God only knows what they're up to, but that's not your problem, Commander. There's more work to be done in Italy. The invaders have some kind of control node here. Now, probably not a coincidence, this is Ground Zero, the first spot Tiberium appeared on Earth. According to Dr. Ibrahim, this node regulates the flow of Tiberium radiation to all their units. And without Tiberium, the units will stop functioning. Stop the units. Stop the invasion. Commander, there's something you need to know. General Granger is withholding vital intelligence from you, intelligence that could save your life. Under my guidance, GDI weapons tech used the materials we confiscated from Nod to build our own liquid Tiberium bomb, which I've taken the liberty of arming your troops with. Now, Granger! He'd rather have you try and gut out a victory against impossible odds. Why? Because I'm a political threat to him. If my plan wins this war, he's irrelevant. At least that's how the media will see him. But they'll see you as a hero if you end this war quickly. This isn't about me or Granger, Commander. This is about you. This is your time. Make your mark on history. Commander, I just found out about Boyle's plan. <laughs> Can't say I'm surprised. But as bad as things seem to be on the battlefield, I need you to resist using that liquid Tiberium bomb. It may end the war quickly, but a blast that size in the world's largest red zone, the chain reaction could be cataclysmic. And here's the other thing. You use that bomb, and we're setting in motion a very dangerous precedent will become dependent on Tiberium weapons, on Tiberium itself. And that's not who we are. That's not GDI. We fight with honor and courage. We fight to rid the world of Tiberium. Let me tell you who we are. We are the ones the public has entrusted to protect them. We have a responsibility to uphold that trust. Yes, there are risks. Yes, there will be casualties. But this is war against an enemy unlike any mankind has ever seen. If you don't do everything in your power, if you don't use every asset available to end this war right now, then you are failing every man, woman, and child on this planet. Do the right thing, Commander. That's all I can ask. Just. Do the right thing. Closing in. Juggernaut standing Unit by. Unit under attack. Juggernaut standing by. Unit lost. Enemy base sighted. Establishing video uplink. It's working, Commander. The invaders, they've stopped. They're defenseless. It's over. We've won, Commander. We've won. Juggernaut standing by. In a 
stunning victory earlier today. GDI finally defeated the invaders. I gotta hand it to you, Commander. You beat the invaders and you did it the correct way. All the towers are down except that one in the mid. A combination of two enemies working against us was just too much. By the time we fought our way to the tower, the damn thing was impregnable. Good news is I've been assured that it's completely inert, completely harmless. Looks like we may never know what it was built for. Anyway, I'm not sure if you've heard. Boyle resigned this morning. It was that or face war crimes for authorizing the liquid Tiberium bomb. What a disaster that would have been. But GDI has new leadership now and new hope. You're a hero, Commander, and that will be the way history remembers you. Congratulations, you deserve it.